that um, has a lot of vertical movement to it. It feels like it's going up all the time. And so you, you, the more you see that, the more you know what it feels like. But then he can also just drop the slider in underneath at any time. So um, it doesn't really, you know, help you out in terms of hitting, but it, it does give you an advantage in, in terms of seeing the ball. And, uh, um, you know, the, the trajectory is awesome. It allows you to see a pitcher's motion, but uh, there's only so much it can do to actually simulate what the ball feels like coming in. Thank you. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead, Dylan. Hey, Max. Um, you know, I was just asking Freddie about this too, but, um, you know, with Mookie, we kind of saw him after he came back from the injury, move out of his customary leadoff spot. You know, he went back from right, from going short back to right field. Um, you know, when, when one of your superstars kind of is that like flexible, uh, you know, what does that kind of do for, you know, clubhouse culture and, you know, maybe, right, you can help you guys create the environment that you guys have right now? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, one of the one of the things you always worry about when you have a guy that has, uh, you know, a name and and just the the accomplishments and talents about him, like someone like Mookie does, is you you know he wants to be the leadoff hitter. He wants to play you know certain positions, and you tell him he has to go somewhere else. You always won't worry about that causing conflict. But um, you know, thankfully he he bought into it. He wants to win just as much as any you know any of us in this clubhouse and. Uh, you know, I think he sees how everyone else is acting in the clubhouse, and that really helps him just accept it. And, you know, there's never going to be any question from any of us about, about about Mookie. We knew that he would do whatever whatever it takes to help the team win, and, um, you know, he's proven that time and time again. And, um, you know, him moving to the infield this year was about helping us win um, as much as anything. And, uh, you know, so to ask him to go back to right field, that was good to him. He felt like that helped us put us in the best spot to win. And that was a, that was a no brainer in his, in his mind. Thank you. Next questions from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead, Kirsten. Max, when you guys just look at what these five days are looking like as a group, how have you all approached them and how similar has it been? I know when Freddie just spoke, he had mentioned, obviously the watch party is that part is different, but just with how you, you prepared NLDS, how you guys took advantage of those days. How are you either using that in a similar way or just what is the focus heading into this matchup? Yeah. Um, you know, we, we had yesterday off and it was a, it was a good day to have off. Uh, you know, these, these couple of days that we're going to have off is going to be huge. Get a lot of guys, uh, you know, with some, some bruises healed up a little bit. You know, you mentioned Freddie had allowed him to get his ankle back and, you know, you hope that everything's going to go a lot better. Um, on on Friday, just having, you know, almost a week off uh, since the last time he played. And it's just, uh, you know, I think for us, we got to use it. We got to use it to the best of our ability to get guys healthy and uh, and prepare properly. Obviously, you can't treat it the same as the five days we had after the season. Um, you know, we're I think we're going to talk about it a bunch today as a group and see, um, you know, what we all want to do together as a team. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure there's going to be some pretty fun ideas out there. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to hear what we can come up with. There's obviously there's familiarity amongst these two teams, but not as much just considering two different leagues. Um, you play once a year. What is, um, I guess, the biggest thing you guys are kind of looking at heading into this matchup? Uh, you know, the same thing we take into any series. You got to look at, you know, you got to look at this the, from the offensive standpoint. You got to look at the pitching staff. You got to look at, you know, what they do as a group, how they like to attack certain hitters, how we think they're going to do things. Um you know, we, we got to prepare the same way we prepare for anyone else. Uh, I know this is the World Series, but, um, you know, as I always say, we're, we're, we're playing ourselves as much as we are the other team. And so we got to just, you know, go about it the exact same way that we would um, any other series. We got to make sure we're preparing the right way, looking at the right stuff, having the right mindset heading into it and having the right game plan. Thank you. Next question is from Dave Assay. Go ahead, Dave. With that being said, with that being said, Max, uh, do you feel like you guys have an advantage that you've been here before, whether it's been together or guys that have been to the World Series on other teams? Do you feel like you have an advantage in, in that respect? Uh, I know both franchises have been here a lot, but a lot of those guys have not been been here before. Um, you know, it, it's hard to really like quantify how much experience plays into it at this time of year. Um, you know, the World Series is obviously a whole different spectacle, but, um, you know, 
that, that's a very good team over there with very good players, a lot of veterans. Um, you know, I wouldn't expect that the stage is going to be too big for them. And that's, a, uh, you know, you're talking about a team that plays in New York and it's, uh, you know, they've they've dealt with that all year, all year long uh, and especially that franchise. So, you know, it's 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 a tough question into as to how much experience plays into it at this time of year. But, um, you know, if, if anything, I would say one thing we do have an advantage is we've been having to go coast to coast already, something that they haven't done. They've stayed pretty local in, in their playoff series. And so, um, you know, if there is one thing I would say experience would come into play at is that you're talking about different sleep schedules, different, you know, the time change, long flights, different weather. Um, you know, that, that is something that we do have an experience with. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, Max, the Yankees and Dodgers were one, two in lowest chase rates this season. How important is that stat to a modern offense and specifically in the postseason? Well, at the at the end of the day, that's the whole point of uh, hitting is you you want to swing at strikes and you want to take balls. And that's, you know, that's really just the most basic philosophy you can have. And it's obviously a lot, you know, harder to do than to just say, hey, we're going to swing at strikes and take balls. But, you know, that's something that we've preached for a long time here. And we've we finally got a group buying into it. And it's, uh, um, you know, it's shown we've had a lot of guys on base at a lot of time. Um, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of chances to score runs and, um, you know, ultimately that's the, that's the, the key to winning the game. And how much, I think it's an innate part of your game, but how much of, uh, of not chasing and controlling the strike zone can be learned? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been asked that question. It's, uh, um, you know, the biggest, the biggest thing I can say to that is, a little bit of it can be learned in terms of just, you got to learn how to buy into an approach at the plate. Um, you know, I've seen it in the past where some guys have said, I got to start walking more. And so they just start auto taking certain pitches and, you know, they end up taking a lot of, a lot of really good pitches to hit that are over the heart of the plate. Cause they're, they're saying, I want to, you know, auto take and see more pitches. And that's not the way you go about it. Um, you know, that was, that's all what I've always said. The key to, to me is that I just, I, I, I'm very stubborn to my approach. I stick to my approach and that allows me that, Hey, they might throw, you know, a strike, but it's not the pitch I'm looking for. It's not the zone I'm looking for. So I'm not going to swing at it. And, you know, more often than not, that allows me to take the pitches that are just off versus, you know, you know, auto taking the one that's right down the middle. Thank you. You got time for one more. Go ahead, Beth. Hey, Max, what kind of lift do you think you guys will get from having Freddie back in the lineup? I mean, you're talking about one of the most consistent hitters over the last, you know, 10, 12 years, 14 years, however long it's been for Freddie. It's yeah, it's 300 every year. It's it's, you know, a ton of doubles, a bunch of home runs, drives in 100 runs. It's, you know, you're just talking about an absolute complete player on the offensive side. And uh, to get him back, to have that in the lineup, just add that depth. And, uh, you know, on top of that, the, the, the key hits that he's had, the clutch hits that he's had in his career at this time of year, it's uh you know, you can't really can't really quantify how how valuable that is. And we, we know how valuable he is to us. So we're excited to have him back. Thanks, Max. Thanks, everybody.